This is it. June 14th, 2022. It's exam day one. The OSCE. And I cannot seem to remember the last time I had butterflies in my stomach because of an exam. So I decided to stay. Wake up today early and do some meditation before the exam. The thing about meditation is that like even 10 minutes of meditating provides you with with an instant calm. Uh, now like I feel much better, I feel much calm, calmer, you know. Um, because I'm not a regular meditator, so I'm not really used to this. Even though I've been trying my whole life to get into this, you know, meditation uh, practice. But I, I slack off after like 2-3 days of regular meditation. Anyway, so right now it is 6.46 in the morning. Um, and my exam starts at exactly 10.55 a.m. Which means that I have to be at the hospital and register, like do the registration um, at 10 a.m. And then we will like sit in the room and wait till the till one of the teachers or the consultants comes to get us, you know, when the exam will start at 10.55 sharp. All right, so the plan now is to have this breakfast, my cereal, and also do one hour of pediatrics revision before I leave for the hospital. And that is because I have made like mind maps for all the topics in for all the subjects like pediatrics, obstetrics and gynecology. And yesterday I was able to go through all the mind maps I had made for obs and gyne, but I did not have the time to do <coughs> pediatrics. So like my brain was completely fried by the end of it. So I plan to wake up early today uh, and uh, do some pediatric observation just before the exam. Ready to rumble! I've been hyping myself up for the past 10 minutes. So it's gonna be fine. I'm gonna kill it. I'm gonna kill it, you know. Um, unless something bad happens, unless I'm like super unlucky, it should be fine. I know a lot of stuff, okay? I know everything. Not, not everything, but I know enough, more than enough to pass the exam, so it should be fine. And you gotta look a bit decent on the exam, you know, so putting on some button up shirt and chinos and, um, whoo! Let's go! So I've been trying to figure out why I feel this way um, for this exact exam. Because normally I'm the type of person who's like very chill before his exams, but this time around it's a bit different. Um, and I think I've found two reasons for that, which I will explain once I get to the hospital, because right now I need to drive fast and safe and quick um, and report at the hospital. Okay, you need yeah, to get your white coat, white coat. Yeah, Don't forget that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Alright vlog, so it's 10.15 and um, all set, the registration is done. I've got my white coat, I've got my candidate number and I'm all set for the exam which is going to start in exactly 40 minutes. Um, we have to sit here and wait um, now for the next like 40 minutes. And then one doctor will come and he will take us to the exam place, like the, the location for the exam. So yeah, I thought about two reasons why I feel this way. First reason is that OSCE exams is not something I've done many times in my life, you know. Um, this is only my third OSCE uh, of my entire freaking life, so it's like something not really familiar, you know. And when you have an exam which you're not really familiar with, um, you, you can't be completely sure of yourself even though you have learned a lot of stuff, you know. I've taken like numerous written exams in my whole life so it's not really a problem with, for me anymore. Written exams are like a piece of cake. That's the first reason. The second reason I think might be YouTube because since I'm documenting the whole thing, I don't want to fail this exam because that's just going to be embarrassing, you know. <laughs> so I think the fact that I'm documenting everything puts a bit more pressure to me, on me, when it comes to my performance, if that makes sense. I think that is also a factor. These are the two things, um, I think, which are the main reasons. Now, anyway, this is the point where I stop chatting because now I'm done. Uh, I'm just going to talk to the other students, you know, relax, wind off, and um, get myself ready for the exam. The next time you see me now will be after my OSCE. <laughs> Oh my god. 
guys, I'm back, I'm back. It's over, it's freaking over, it's over. And it actually went quite well, I'll spin it right now. Everybody's talking too much, everybody's talking loud. Uh, so I, we need to wait for like the next 30 minutes and then we will be allowed to go home uh, because the next group is having their exam now. And uh, so you can't go outside and you know, tell them what stations we're gonna get or what cases you will get. So I'll spin everything later, but it went quite well. Done. <laughs> Alright, so you want to make your food taste better? Do this. Pick it up. Have a look at it, like that. And then you take a bite. <laughs> Ali, you're going to have your exam now. Good luck, man. You got this. Kill it. <laughs> Home. So, there were eight stations and technically we were not allowed to ask the examiners um, at the end of every station if we have passed or not. Uh, but I did it anyway because I thought, you know what, I'll just ask if they answer, good enough, amazing. But if they don't answer, who cares, it's alright. It was like, it's worth taking a chance, you know, and just asking them. So, eight stations, three pediatric stations, um, I think two gynecology, one obstetrics and two pathology. Uh, if that's eight or if I'm maybe missing one station or something. But anyway, it went pretty alright. Um, I asked the examiners how it went and seven of them said it went well. Um, the other one said he's not allowed to answer, so who cares. He only had to pass six and hopefully I passed seven stations, so... And probably eight one as well. Uh, but that, that, that eight one was actually a bit tricky. Uh, but I think I'm, I might like lose four or five points on that, but I still hopefully will pass. We'll see. But even if I don't pass that one, who cares, I still probably passed the exam. Oski is freaking done. Now just one exam left, which is a written one, and that is gonna be on Thursday, and to, today is Tuesday, so like that, the day after tomorrow. So what I'm gonna do with that is that, today I'm gonna just relax now, maybe take a short nap, then hit the gym, and then get back to studying, and also I will continue this vlog on Thursday. So this is where I leave you guys for now. It's finally the 16th of June, Thursday, exam day two, on my last freaking exam. I cannot believe that exa in exactly, I think four hours, I will be done with this shiz. <laughs> Children, are you guys ready for the exam? I'm damn ready. Damn ready. <laughs> ready to go to war. Ready to go to war. And water. He, he's having water. He loves to drink water before the exam. I don't know why. And what about you, Lamo? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm ready as well. Ready? Come on, show me the king and the king and dance. <laughs> now I just need to go and submit my things like my jacket, my phone, my belongings because you can't have your belongings in here when, when the exam starts. It's exactly 10 minutes to go before the exam starts. Wish me luck because after this, I'm gonna be freaking done! It's finally over. And that was seriously the most difficult, challenging written exam I've had in medical school up till now, seriously. And it's not just me. So it's not the fact that I was unprepared. Everybody I've spoken to was like, man, this was tough. And we had, and the time management issues were there as well because there was so much text to read for each question. You know, a lot of text, or oh, a pregnant woman, 32 weeks gestation comes to you, history of this, like a lot of text per, for every question. So uh, I think I got done like two minutes before the time went out. <sighs> This was freaking tough. Oh, and we are back, man. Seriously, I cannot believe that I'm vlogging now after two days because I had my exam on Thursday and today is Saturday. I wasn't able to continue the vlog on Thursday. And I couldn't even film yesterday because we were like so busy having fun and enjoying, you know, our sort of exam parties and having fun, taking the days off, completely winding off, having fun, having banter. The written exam was super duper tough. I mean, everybody I've spoken to was like, man, this was one crazy freaking exam. But anyway, I think it went all right. I will still probably pass, so uh, that will not be a problem. Fingers crossed I haven't got the results yet. Maybe I'll do a video later on where I open my results live for this, which is gonna be super fun. So yeah, comment down below if you want me to do that video. Uh, opening my like reacting to my exam results live so after these exams we have basically got our student license which means we can now start working as student doctors but the thing is that if you fail your exam then the license will be taken back and then you will have to retake the exam and then you will get your license back anyway for now i'll be starting my first ever 
job as a student doctor from Monday which means day after tomorrow and hopefully I will get to vlog my first every day as well so yeah I'll, I'm super looking forward to it in the end I really want to thank you guys for all your support during this road to medical school exam series I mean I still have more exams in the future so probably I will do the sim a similar series every single time like the road the journey towards my exams and comment down below again if you want me to do that as well so yeah thank you for all your support guys I'll yeah end this vlog right here and I'll see you guys in the next video and before you leave hit that punch that kick that subscribe button